Are you attempting to change the reality of things? Is your desire distant from your current circumstances? Do you feel like changing your reality is the only way to get what you want? You're watching the right video if you think so. From what I've seen, I think we're moving to different realities instead of changing our own. Changing anything seems hard, but moving seems easy. If you keep changing to change your current reality, you might feel anxious. But if you replace it with shifting or switching, you'll feel better. I'll tell you how to shift to your desired reality. If you know anything about Neville Goddard's ideas, you've probably heard that creation is finished. It's a great idea that will help you make your dreams come true if you understand it well. Since everything has been made, you can get anything you want. Any thought that comes to mind today already exists, as does everything else you can think of. This means that you are not changing anything new, but rather moving or shifting into a reality that contains your desires. You change every second, and so does your state of being. When you're scared, you get mad. If you feel happy, when you feel joy, you change your state of being, which moves you toward your desired reality. Sometimes the changes in your reality are so small that you don't even realize you have moved into a different reality. Now that everything has been made, there are an infinite number of realities. You are the most beautiful person in one reality and the most ugly person in another. In another, you're rich, and in another, you're poor. So there are so many different kinds of you that I can't list them all in one video. All of these ideas are in your mind right now. All of these are different in how they act. They feel different, think differently, and can visualize other beliefs. You can see a different version of yourself right now, and you can tell that this version feels different. This feeling you are having is like having a desire come true. If you keep at it and feel it, you will change into that version of yourself and move into that reality. Close your eyes and start this imaginary act by imagining that you are an unseen creature watching and listening to the version of yourself you want to become. Think of a room you know well and imagine your desired version sitting in it. At this point, I'd like to make it clear that you're looking at the back of the person. Take note of how your desired version looks from the back. Now, pay attention to what this version of you is doing, what it is saying, and who is with it. Just focus on the details of the version you want to become which is your desired version of being rich. What signs does this rich version of you have that show how well off they are? Is it their Rolex, expensive jewelry, or car keys? No matter what it is, all it does is watch them from behind while they have those things. Are they with a certain person? Watch them, don't say anything, and you'll see how great their relationship is with that person. Now that you have an imagination of how they look, what they have, and who they are with, move this imagined version of you into your house's bathroom. Watch them close the bathroom door as you follow them. Now that you're alone with them, give them a pat on the shoulder and watch as they turn around. As this version of you turns around, notice how happy they are to see you and how much they are smiling. You can now see them opening their arms for a hug and hugging you as you get close to them and disappear into them. You are surrounded by white light all of a sudden. It gets so bright that it blinds you, and when you can see again, all you can see is the white light. Get out of bed and get going. I want to tell you that, as you did it, many things changed, and you turned into this person. You are now in the real reality, and from now on, your life will change. You feel different, you have new habits, and you are now the person you wanted to be. This is the action that will really help you shift to your desired reality. You can do it for a few days until it gets boring, at which point you can move on to something else. You can do it for any desire you have, no matter what it is. Just be creative and make up this fake setting. Have a third person see you in it from their point of perspective, and then take them to a private place. I chose the toilet as an example because it is the most private and best place to become the virgin of yourself you want to be. Just use your imagination to make it something fun to do. I'm sure that when you're done with this, a lot will have changed about how you act, what you say, how you think, how you connect with other people, and how they react to you. Don't be scared. 
because this is normal in the life of your desired virgin. And now you are the person you wanted to be, with the exception of the changes that happen as you go about your day. Please tell me what happens when you do this, since creation is finished and everything you want already exists, but you can't see it because you can only see what's in your own awareness. The purpose of an assumption is to bring back the perspective that was left out and restore full vision. It's your assumptions that change the world, and assumptions bring the invisible into assumption. It's the same thing as seeing through God's eyes. Someone asked me about Neville Goddard's latter approach in a comment. His worry was that Neville told his students to write, I will not climb a ladder everywhere. But at night he told them to visualize themselves climbing a ladder before going to sleep, and one of them did just that soon after. And it became clear that some people, like this viewer, will think Neville contradicted himself. But in this video, I'll show you what Neville Goddard meant when he told his students to do this, and once you understand it, your mind will be blown. Also, knowing this can help you understand what the imaginary act meant right before you go to sleep. Some people already knew about the latter experiment, but let's go over it again. Neville's early talks were attended by some people, and he wanted to teach them about the power of their imagination. So, he went on with his lesson, and asked each of his students to do this one task. They had to write, I will not climb a ladder somewhere they would see often during the day, like in front of a mirror or on a wall. After they were done writing, he asked them to act out a small scene in which they climb a ladder. This was just a small scene before they went to sleep. They told them to do their best. He also said that the seminar was only for students who had moved up the ladder. Now, a lot of students tried. Some came back with stories of how they had done well and hadn't climbed a ladder in 10 years, but right before they fell asleep, they climbed one. Now, why would Neville tell them to write? I will not climb a ladder if the goal was to climb a ladder. I doubt that many of you have thought about it. If you apply it to your situation, you might see your manifestation in the next week. Neville Goddard's perspective, as far as I can tell, was to show that even if reality or 3D says you can't do something, you can still make it happen if you imagine doing it before you go to sleep. He was trying to show us all that you can get whatever you want, no matter what your circumstances are. If you live out that imagined act in your imagination, the students will climb a ladder in their minds. And when they were awake, they read the sentence, I won't climb a ladder. Can you see how different these two things are from each other? But as the students internalized the feeling of their wish coming true, it did come true. This means that Neville did not contradict himself. I'm sure 99% of you have never seen it this way. But now that you know, you'll have more faith in your own unique manifestation of making things happen. If you see something in your outside reality that doesn't make sense, you'll realize that it's the same as saying, I won't climb the ladder. It doesn't matter. When you're trying to bring about your inner reality, the outside reality doesn't matter. What matters is your inner state of being, and it matters what you do on the inside. You may manifest on the outside reality to keep showing you the same things that bother you. If you want to visualize something different manifest, like climbing the ladder, you have to see yourself doing it in your mind. Also, Neville told you to do it right before bed so that you could fill your mind with a single idea, since you'd be in that state most of the time. If you feel like your wish has been granted when you go to feeling, you won't be bothered by anything in the outside reality. You'll have the feeling that your wish has been fulfilled. You will be used to sticking with things, what you sleep with will shape your life. You now know why people listen to love songs before bed. It makes them feel like they're in love. We, on the other hand, want to see booty shaking reels every day on our iPhones. This is why everyone tells you not to use your devices in bed, but we do. There's no problem with that. It's not a problem at all. But if you want to manifest something experience, you should think about the thing you want to happen in the real reality right before you go to sleep. You don't have to agree with it. All you have to do is experience it inside yourself. Your current experience is the only source of your inner experiences. Those who can't picture a scene can imagine a phrase.